190 horsepower of a petrol engine, sleek and modern looks, a well-loaded cabin, spacious interiors, good driving power, and of course, the safety promise of Volvo. Well, all of this makes the new S60 sound like a great package. But the challenge here is that the new Volvo S60 will have to take on the likes of the mighty BMW 33s, Mercedes-Benz C-Class, and the Audi A4 and the Jaguar XC as well. So is the S60 good enough to take on these mighty contenders and come out as a winner and make a place for itself in the segment? Well, the next few minutes is exactly what we'll find out. Now, talking about the design, well, the good thing about the new Volvos is the fact that they have a clean and a minimalistic design, which is still quite appealing. And the S60 simply takes that theme forward. Now, at the front, you can see you have this chrome grille and it looks good. You, of course, have this Volvo badge on it. And the front end is quite clean with these sharp LED headlamps and they have this signature Thor Hammer LED DRL element in them, which combined gives the S60 a sleek and a hunkered down look, which in turn gives the car a very dynamic proportions. Moving further back to the side, what you get is again a good design on the alloy wheels. The side profile again is quite sleek. You have a sporty profile to the side because of the roof line which starts tapering around the C-pillar and goes on right up till the bootlet. Even the length of the car is quite nice and this just gives the car a very planted stance. When you look at the rear, you have again the signature Volvo tail lamp design which looks nice and like I said earlier, it is basically a clean design which is what you see all around the car and that is what makes the S60 different from its competition. Now, once you're inside the cabin of the new Volvo S60, you'll quickly realize that this is one of the best cabins in the segment. Now, first of all, if you look at the dashboard, it has a very premium dashboard. The material quality on the top part is top notch. The middle part, again, the finish is very nice and you cannot miss this wooden pieces here. The wooden inserts are of very nice quality. Of course, even the lower parts in the lighter color are of good material quality. So yes, the fit and finish all around the cabin is quite impressive. Of course, as far as infotainment is concerned, you get in a typical Volvo design, this vertically placed touchscreen infotainment system. Now this is a good uh, touchscreen as far as touch response is concerned and as far as the user interface is concerned. So yes, unlike uh, the German rivals, you do not get loads of buttons, just a few buttons here and everything else inside the car needs to be done using this touch interface here. The screen is good and uh, not, uh, it's again easy to use. You of course get good connectivity in the form of Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and uh, it gives you good display even under direct sunlight. So that's a good thing. The steering wheel also feels quite nice. It is aptly sized and feels chunky to hold. It of course has the usual uh, controls on it. And the digital instrument cluster is also again, very impressive. It's got a good design and it gives you loads of information, easy to decipher information from it. So yes, again, good in terms of uh, driving focus as well. If you talk about the seats, well, the seats are definitely a highlight in the Volvo S60. Very comfortable seats. You can be in these seats for a long duration and not feel fatigued at all. And of course, both of them are electrically adjustable. So finding the right position is quite easy. In terms of space, the door pockets, have a decent amount of space. You can put in uh, a fair bit of things in them. And again, you also have space here under the driver armrest. So yes, a good cabin as far as the front experience is concerned. Features also, well, the S60 is quite loaded and it actually beats some of its rivals as far as features are concerned. If you move away from the infotainment system, well, you get a wireless charging pad, which is pretty much the norm these days. And you also get a fantastic Harman Kardon audio system. And the sound quality is something you have to experience in this car 
it is quite impressive you also get a sunroof and this is not a regular sunroof it's a larger sunroof again it's not exactly a panoramic but it's somewhere in the middle so yes uh, a good size and again uh, it's electrically operated and of course like i said earlier everything else in the interior is quite nice now that leaves us with the rear so let's head to the rear seat and find out what's in store now once you're in the rear seat of the volvo s60 you continue to realize that you're getting good value for your money because what you get is one of the most spacious rear seat experiences in the segment now you can see with the driver seat adjusted to my driving preference 5 feet 8 inches for reference there is a lot of knee room to spare i can easily slide my feet under the driver seat get a good seating position and find myself to be quite comfortable if i talk about the headspace well despite the sloping roof line the headspace is decent i would say not great but yes decent and someone who's slightly taller than me will still find themselves not brushing their head against the roof the seat itself again is quite nice if you look at the backrest angle the uh, cushioning the side support especially is very impressive now if you talk about the part here the lower part will again the cushioning is good uh, what could have been a little better is the fact that the under thigh support is just about okay for me so if you are someone who's taller than me and you're going to be in this seat for a long duration will at that point of time you could find the under thigh support to be a bit on the downside but again that's only if you're going to be here for a long time well beyond that um, you can have two people sitting comfortably in the rear seat if you try and place three well the seat is wide enough but the high rising transmission tunnel will make the middle passenger quite uncomfortable and uh, beyond that if i talk about space and utility well the door pockets are they have space which is just about okay and uh, there are of course some storage areas behind the driver seat and the co-passenger seat so you can put in some papers or stuff there's also this nice cushioned armrest here and there's also the option of accessing the boot through this space given here so again yes good in terms of convenience what you get here is temperature control so you get the controls for the air conditioning unit it's a digital display looks good looks modern and adds to the plush feel of the cabin there's also a dual point for type c charging so again it's possible to keep multiple devices charged on the go and now on to the driving experience of the new volvo s60 well as far as the engine goes this is powered by a 2 liter turbocharged petrol engine and you get a healthy output of 190 horsepower now if you look at the segment well of course the power is right up there with the rivals and uh, how is it to drive well it is a nice car to drive no doubt about that so um, it's got a very nice refined engine the engine is refined it gives you a very premium feel when you're driving so there's very less uh, sound that really filters inside the cabin so yes good on that part uh, in terms of uh, acceleration well it accelerates cleanly off the line and once you go past about uh, 2000 rpm well that's when the turbo is really in its element and you get a strong surge of acceleration so yes uh, good to drive and actually quite fun to drive as well but again it's not really um, as good as say the BMW 3 series so it is i wouldn't say it's an out and out enthusiast car but yes it will uh, keep pretty much most of the buyers happy because it is fast it can get you to a good speed with ease so driving on the highways or the expressways is again going to be a breeze and quite fun so yes uh, good in that respect the steering again is quite nice it's a direct steering uh, the car goes where you want it to and uh, the feedback is i would say decent from the steering the brakes again do a good job uh, that's a good thing so in terms of safety well you would expect a volvo to fare out well and and it does the brakes bring in the car to a quick and a reassuring halt even from high triple digit speeds if you uh, encounter a panic braking situation now uh, coming to the gearbox well it's only one variant that the s60 is going to be offered um, right now as far as the powertrain package is concerned and here you get an automatic gearbox which does its job fairly well and uh, it's uh, made it to the engine well so you get 
good and easy drivability and uh, it again offers a good balance between performance and efficiency so when you're driving it uh, efficiently it's always eager to upshift save you some fuel and you also have the choice of switching to drive modes uh, talking of which you get three eco uh, comfort and dynamic now uh, coming to ride and quality well the ride quality i would say is uh, good uh, it's a little bit on the firm side so yes at low speeds uh, when you're going over broken surfaces or you're going over uh, some deep potholes uh, some of the shock is transferred to the cabin but uh, once you gain some momentum the ride quality improves uh, a lot and at high speeds uh, or at medium uh, city speeds the ride quality is nice and uh, even if you're looking at it from a chauffeur driven perspective uh, you will find yourself to be pretty comfortable in the rear seat and uh, as far as handling goes well uh, the handling again complements the engine quite well uh, the s60 is not at all shy of taking corners at high speed so you can chuck the car into a corner at high speeds with confidence and you will come out without any complaints of course it's uh, not as engaging as I, again i'll refer to the benchmark when it comes to driving in the segment and that's the bmw 3 series but then again that's a rear wheel drive car and uh, it's a 3 series but this again is again engaging to drive it's uh, like i said earlier the it's got good power and the handling complements it so yes if you are uh, going out on a twisty road or you're traveling on a mountain section well you can have good fun with the s60 okay so now that the driving performance is out of the way how can we miss safety when it's a volvo now as far as active safety is concerned well the s60 is loaded to the gills it comes with a lot of active safety features which means there are a lot of electronic nannies which are working all the time to ensure or to prevent a possible mishap now the few notable ones that i would like to mention here include now the first one is of course the city alert system which means that when you're driving in the city and uh, if you're not paying attention and the car senses that there is a possible situation of a collision the car will first give a warning to the driver and if the driver fails to pay heed to that warning and react the car will automatically brake and bring the car to a halt in order to avoid that collision so that's a good thing of course it also comes with lane guidance system so if you are not being attentive on the road and you're veering off the lane it gives you a gentle reminder through your steering communication that you are leaving your lane unindicated and as far as passive safety is concerned again there is pretty much everything that you would expect in the segment and volvo claims that all of their car are the safest in the business and we have no reason to believe that they aren't so what do you guys think about the volvo s60 well would you want to buy it or not let us know in the comment section and now coming to whether you should buy the volvo s60 over its german or the indian owned british rival or not and the answer to that is why not well the volvo s60 offers a very nice and a balanced package it gives you everything ranging from a good design a spacious cabin good set of features a nice driving experience and of course the safety promise of volvo so yes it definitely is a car that makes an impression now what we don't know as of now is the price because this car will be launched sometime in march 2021 and the bookings will open from january next year now if volvo is able to price the s60 competitively against its rivals well in that case i believe this car definitely demands your attention as it is one of the best all-rounder cars in the segment if you like this video please share it and leave us a comment or two and do not forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated to all the upcoming videos